because the best way to promote yourself for free and get noticed and get seen is to a lot of people wanted me to make a video about how to market your music with no money. So first, we got to look at what marketing is. Marketing is the activity or business of promoting and selling products or services, including market research and advertising. Market is a verb, advertise or promote something. That's what you got to understand. Your music is a product that you have to promote. You are something that you have to promote, right? You and your music, right? Music is marketing for you. Because at the end of the day, everything that you need to do, every post, every song, every video, everything that you do comes back to you. So you are what you have to market. It's you. Like a lot of people get it twisted. They think it's the music. Listen, music is a marketing tool for you. You are the business. You are the brand. You are the person that the people fuck with. The first way that you can market your music with no money is using social media because it's 100% free, 100% free. Let's go through the social media checklist. I'm probably going to miss a few. Let me know in the comment section below if I miss any. You need to have a YouTube channel, an Instagram, a TikTok, a Twitter, a Threads account, a Discord account, a Reddit account. You need BandLab, Loco, Rap Chat, Audio Mac, SoundCloud, because all of those are free. And there's millions of people on every single one of those apps. You're probably saying this, but Sky, why would I use Vloco, Rapchat, BandLab? There's no people over there. Listen, it's people over there, all right? It's people over there. The goal is getting in front of as many people as possible because you have to market yourself, you have to market your music, and you don't want to spend no money. So if you don't want to spend money, you got to go where people are going to be at. Not necessarily saying if you go to BandLab, you're going to get thousands of fans. Or if you be on Twitter, you're going to get thousands of fans. But you have to take the first step and get on the platform. The second step is going to be you figuring out the platform, coming up with a content strategy for said platform. If you're on Discord and you're trying to get features and collab with different artists or find your producer or engineer, what you need to do is find discords that are full of producers, rappers, engineers, and find those people, connect with those people, try to build a relationship with those people, right? If you're a rapper and you need an engineer, don't go and find another nigga that's rapping to mix your shit. Go and find an engineer, a person that specializes in it, right? If you're trying to find fans, go and join people's servers that have fans, right? Like, if I make Playboy Cardi type music, I'm going to try to find all the servers that, like, like I'm going to try to find all the servers that Playboy Cardi fans be in. I'm going to try to search on TikTok, certain hashtags, all the Playboy Cardi, see what the Playboy Cardi fans look like, engage on some of those accounts, right? Because the best way to promote yourself for free and get noticed and get seen is to comment on people's posts. Like, a lot of people have too much pride to comment on people's posts. But listen, every time you comment on somebody's post, somebody's going to engage back, right? They're probably going to be like, who is this person that commented? They're going to go on your page. They're probably going to see your artist. They're probably going to listen to a couple of your TikToks. If they like some of your TikTok posts, they might go find your music, all right? You might have a fan that way. Let's say you leave 100 comments a day. You might be able to get one, two, maybe five fans that day or maybe five streams that day. You're probably going to look at it like... Well, out of 100, I only got five, but it's like that's five people that you got versus not engaging on people's stuff because a lot of people post, never share, never engage on other people's content, and they wonder why people don't engage with them or why they're not growing because people don't know you. They don't see you. And what's the best way to get seen on social media? Comment, like people's posts. That shows up in their notifications. And I don't know because every time somebody likes more than like 10 pictures on my Instagram or my TikTok or comment on like five or six YouTube videos, guess what I do? I click on their profile to see who the fuck this person is and why they liking my shit so much. That's some of the shit you're going to have to do if you're not trying to spend money. Like you're going to have to put in the work. You're going to have to engage with people. That's what it's going to come down to. You're going to have to post. And the third step is going to be you coming up with a content posting schedule because you got to figure out, like, are you going to post on your story every single day at this time? Are you going to try to leave them on a comments this time? Like, are you going to shoot a video uh, for TikTok? Are you going to post that video on Twitter? Are you going to repost it on TikTok, Instagram, threads? Like, what are you going to do? Like, what's going to be your plan? What you going to do every time you drop a song? Are you going to? purpose it to other platforms like you're gonna share the link on everything if you posting it on soundcloud are you posting on 
Audio Mac. I know you probably got your songs on Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, and all that. Get it on the free platforms too. Like, share, see what's going on, see what traction, look at your analytics. All of this is important because you got to understand your market. You got to understand what your potential fan looks like, what they're interested in. And the second way that you can market your music with no money is to reach out to content creators. Listen, you don't have to reach out to niggas that got 50,000, 100,000, a million. You can reach out to the people that got 500, 1,000, 200. You just need to be able to build a rapport with these people because they have some type of an audience. You need to reach out to streamers and be like, yo, do you need a cool intro song? Do you need a dope ass outro song? Do you need an intermission song? I got music. I can make this song for you because that is marketing. That's getting your music in front of somebody's audience. That's putting you in front of somebody's audience because we looked at what marketing is. Marketing is getting in front of people, of an audience that you're trying to sell a product and the product that you're trying to sell is you and your music. So what you need to do is find people that need music that they can use illegally. The crazy thing that can come from that is like, if you're cool with a YouTuber that's doing reaction videos or they're doing like vlogs and they put your music in the vlog and if it's their intro, their outro, it's just music that they use, their audience is gonna like the song because they're like, they like the person. All right. They know you like the song because they use the song and now they're going to be looking for the song. They're probably going to link you in the description. They're probably going to give you a shout out and you're going to get traction off of that. But this method only works depending on you and your social skills. How do you approach somebody? Don't come off creepy. Don't come off pushy. You know, you got to learn how to network. Right. You got to learn how to stroke people's egos. So where they want to kind of give you stuff in return and do favors for a favor. And you also want to make sure your music is good. If your music is not good, people are going to tell you no. Right. And you want to make sure the music fits that person's style, their energy, their demographic. So that's going to require you to do some research because there's a lot of streamers for Call of Duty, Apex, 2K, Madden, whatever game. It's a lot of people trying to be streamers. All right. I'm not telling you to try to take advantage of people, but show some interest in people, build a rapport with somebody and try to attach yourself to their audience and y'all both will grow together. And the third way that you can market your music with no money is going to be blogs. A lot of people is going to be like, but blogs are dead. Nobody reads articles. and blah, blah, blah. Listen, people still read blogs. People still read articles just because you don't do it or you don't know people that do it. Listen, the world is bigger than the people that you know, all right? Like, it's, it's millions and billions of fucking people in the world, all right? And people are still writing blogs because people are reading the blogs. People are advertising on blogs because people are reading the blogs. That is a form of marketing. Just because it's not your song getting marketed doesn't mean you're not marketing. And that goes back to the point. The song is marketing for you. You are the product. You are the person. You are the person. It's not your music. It's you. All right. Your music is marketing for you. Everything comes back to you. What you want to do is do your research. Try to find some upcoming blogs. Trying to find some upcoming blog Instagram pages. Like it was some Instagram page that posted and was like, yo, this is the final band lab boss, the king of band lab, because they took one of my TikTok videos of me showing how to set up a tick, um, band lab setup and they posted it on their TikTok, on their Instagram. Like, and, and they took it from my TikTok and they posted it on their Instagram. And that was promotion. Niggas was hating in the comment section, but it was promotion. You feel me what I'm saying? People that might not know who I was, they got an opportunity to see a clip of me. All right. And if they wanted to figure out who I was, they could search. But I had the opportunity. I had the impressions because I think that video had a shitload of views because blogs are changing. Right. You have like double XL, different write ups on people, hot new hip hop, do blogs and article write ups on people like you can find Instagram pages and reach out to the people, try to develop rapports with them. See, like there's pages that cover the underground scene for like the plug and be with your Jace and your Summers and your Autumns and all of them. Right. It's people that cover them. If you're a type of artist that makes similar music like them, try to figure out, reach out to them. People see if you can send some music, send like an interview, anything. It's like you got to put yourself out there because if you're not putting yourself out there, 
you're losing that marketing because all marketing is is putting yourself out there putting your product out there what you have to offer what you have to sell and in this case if you're trying to be a rapper singer songwriter whatever you are the product and everything else that you do outside of you that is marketing every song every youtube video every song every post every like every comment that is marketing because people get to see you that's brand awareness people get to see you if a person don't see you, they cannot listen to you. They cannot determine if they like or dislike your music. They cannot leave a comment, anything. If they don't see you, what I need you to take from this video is utilize your social media, come up with a plan, network with content creators, get your music out to as many places as possible, reach out to blogs, all right? Those are the first three steps that you need to take if you don't want to spend no money to market your music.